So this is the Konex Evitech Survival Shovel made by Ape Survival. And with the snow that's been going on where I live lately, I haven't been able to do much shooting videos. So I figured I would do a review on this very handy survival tool. So first off, you can use it as a trowel or a hoe. And then you can turn this, straighten it back out. Let's see there. And then turn it into an actual shovel which you could really break some solid ground with this. This is high grade stainless steel. And on one side, it has a sharp edge that actually has a ruler on it. And it has a bottle opener right here. It has two hex keys. And then it has a saw right here for sawing and a very sharp tip too so it could break some really hard ground and that's just the basic part of it so each of these sections you can make it smaller or larger but each section has a little see first on the end there's a compass now you take the compass out and then you have your fire starter which you use these rivets here, or the little saw blades, and you strike it. You gotta get it just right. All right, come on now. See, you can use that as a fire starter. And then you unscrew that. And on the other side of that, you have an emergency whistle. So let's put that back in there from threading it in right. Put that back in to the top of the handle to extend it even more so. And then the next section, oh, this next section, comes undone. And then you have another smaller hex key right there. And screw the next section. And then you have a blade. Now you could use this for self-defense. Or you could use it for cutting down tree limbs. To start a fire. And this is razor sharp right here. So you could do all kinds of stuff with it. Like whittle wood or cut up small pieces of tinder to start a fire with the fire starter or even use it for self-defense. So put this back in there to cover the blade up. Maybe. So you gotta get it in there just right. Okay, and then the next section Oh, okay, this actually wasn't a hex key. It's a screwdriver. It has a Phillips head so you can 
unscrew and tighten screws, flip it over, and then it has a flat head. And I think that's about it, but it also came with a really nice tactical flashlight. This is pretty high quality. You get the strobe effect. You can actually make it smaller and larger. Let me turn this light off so you can see a little better. So you can do that small one, or you can raise it out, and it's really bright actually. And there's two brightness settings. I think that's the dimmer one. And this is the strobe effect. And that's the brighter one. So that's really handy. And yeah, I mean, you bring this into a survival situation, you pretty much have everything you need to start a fire, build a shelter, dig a hole, anything. It's pretty much an all-in-one tool, and it would be a great thing to have with you in the wilderness or just in a bug-out bag if you need to get away for a while and survive out in the wilderness. And they're going for about 60 to $90 online, and I think it's really worth it. It has a nice little quote here. It says, Be strong when you are weak, brave when you are scared, and humble when you are victorious. And it has a ruler there, saw blades. And yeah, that's about it. Let me see if I missed anything, but I think I covered everything. Fire starter. Knife. Oh, maybe I did miss one. Screwdriver. Nope, that's about it. So yeah, be a great survival tool to have out in the wilderness, and you can even crack a beer or open a can while you're out there. So this would be a great addition to anybody looking to have something either. You could even take it camping with your family, or you could take it out to the wilderness to survive. And yeah, that's about it. Please click the bottom right hand symbol at the end of the video to subscribe to my video and give it a like as well. And I'll be having more shooting videos coming up very soon. Thank you and have a good night. The lighting on that flashlight was pretty out of frame, so I figured I would show you guys a little bit better what this is all about. See how you can make it from really wide to nice and small. And here's the brighter setting. You see it makes that nice little square pattern. And here's the lower setting. Yeah, the strobe is pretty blinding, especially if you get somebody in the eyes with it. It would potentially stop somebody and disorientate them temporarily as you can see so i just wanted to add that thank you